you won't understand a person's soul till you understand their pain. And um, oh my lord, when oh, they walk so through stuff, it will really, and you understand people's pain, you will understand their hurts, their soul. And um, tell them what you, what happened when you got your visitation. Um, I, I just said, I just got mad at God and I said, why? And I saw different colors. Yeah. Uh, it was pretty wild. And I said, why did you bring me back? And he said, I'm not done with you. And I'm, you're, um, I really believe Tuscaloosa is going to experience the biggest revival. I grew up with all the revivals at, um, Work different places, at Brownsville. Brownsville Revival and all that. And God said to me, um, cause like I said, I got mad at him. Um, I, it's been really tough cause I don't remember people and names. Yeah. Um, but like I said, some things you need to forget. Um, I really believe revival is, so, is now. Scott, that is so powerful. What you're, what you're saying is what this did was, I mean, apart from the devastation of it, but the positive point of it is that it stripped you of a lot of the baggage that we ca we all carry baggage. Mm -hmm. You're watching me today. You're watching Scott and, and Christy, and you're and you're carrying poison. You are you are getting up every morning, and putting on a backpack of poison in your heart, and you're carrying this thing around, and you're fighting battles that already are finished, and everyone's lost interest, and everybody's gone home. And you are carrying this thing. And the Lord is using Scott and Christie's story to tell you something. Don't, don't go through this catastrophe to get this stuff out of your head. Let it go. Put the burdens down. You're not designed to carry hate. You're not designed to carry bitterness and resentment. It's poison in your spirit and your heart. 